Hi, Bruce from Safari. What we're showing today is the Star Tank tank level sensor. It's a radar sensor on top of the tank. It's in a built machine case, but it's got a radar sensor inside here, and it's going Bluetooth to the Turbo GX, could be the Acrano, could be the Venus. And if we have a look on the screen here, you'll see below all these Ruby sensors, Star Tank in here, we've enabled it. And if we touch the pages now and go back at the tank level here, this unit here is battery operated, five year battery life coming from it. And for metal tanks to use the five hole pattern that we've got at the bottom here, and I'll just lift it up to show. And then by unscrewing this, uh, you can remove it, change the battery inside. There's a seal on it. That's got a Fresnel lens on it. And then with uh, non-metal uh, tanks, this just glues straight on the top, screw that in, and uh, we're running on Bluetooth. Now I'm going to show you the degree of accuracy of this sensor at uh, different levels. We're now at 83%. Let's have a look when I lift it up here. So by lifting it up about 7 millimetres, this has changed from 83 to 80%. So to simulate a fibreglass tank, I'm going to put this piece of timber in here, and I'm going to put the sensor on top of the timber. Uh, there's a bit of an air gap in there, it's at a slight angle. Uh, so this is a worst case scenario. Let's look at the change. So it's now changed from 83, 80, 77, and that's a height there of 12 millimetres. It's just to demonstrate the accuracy by slightly changing the sensor rather than filling the tank in and out when moving it up higher. Now a quick recap, this is not ultrasonic, this is not sonar, this is radar, which means it can sit above the tank, do a black water, grey water, fuel, water, any foam or froth is not affected, no wires, no cabling, connect it with Bluetooth, you can even commission it remotely, how good's that?